Hi, it's Esther Bodnar speaking. Just like to welcome everybody in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. This is my testimony that I'd like to bring to you. It happened on the 7th of December. But a testimony you normally tell just the end story of how God helped you and solved the problem. Sorry, I'm using my hand and not the selfie stick or the tripod. So I'm not in the right area to bring it to you on a stable um like a tripod or something so you'll just excuse my 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 message <laughs> and those that are watching me those that are listening to the audio welcome welcome i love south africa very much and when i say south africa it's every south african no matter where you are through the whole world just a short story i hope it's not going to be too long on the 7th of december i woke up i believe the holy spirit woke me up I don't remember hearing a noise. I believe um, I just stood straight up out of my bed. And um, as I looked outside the window, there were two cars trying to break into my car. One was at the back and I knew I've got a mountain bike in my car. I was getting ready to move to Polokwane, leaving early in the morning. And there was another guy that was standing on the other side of my car on the side door. And I just remember banging on the window and screaming and shouting. And I just, all I remember saying is, what do you think you're doing? Get away from my car. And the one guy that was closest to me started running towards the window. He was a few hand um, measurements away from me. And I just remember thinking, I don't know if he's got a gun. It's such a split second. I ducked down behind the wall, not knowing what's going on. And as I ducked down behind the wall, I just remember the first thing coming into my mind is, in the name of Jesus, I command you to go. And after shouting that, and I shouted it at the top of my lungs, the next minute, what took place was even mind-blowing for me. I just heard them running away. And luckily they ran away with my mountain bike, but that is not my problem because I used that. If you know me, I started cycling, and I'll, you can look back on my other videos, I was cycling on that mountain bike, praying for South Africa. So I said, Lord, if it's your will to bring my mountain bike back, it will come back. Otherwise, every time I see a bicycle, I'm going to call a bike for a pastor or a bike for evangelist so that our people can mobilize. They don't need a car because a lot of people don't have driver's license, but we need to change South Africa. And we need to be able to mobilize and go kilometers. So I'm going to call bike pastors and bike evangelists out. And we're going to get many, many bikes. So if you want to sew a bike into my life, do that. I'm going to find the owner. And these guys are going to be responsible to go and reach out to the young men, especially of South Africa. The message that I'm bringing you, I'm really on the war path now. Don't have a wake up call like I had. When somebody confronts you straight in the face and you can feel the fear and the hate that's coming. If you've got this message, it's unfair to keep it for yourself. Please send it north, south, east and west of the world. South Africa has been attacked by hate. Hate for the white people and it will not stop with the white people. Once they've got rid of the, uh, the white people, this is genocide. They will then get rid, rid of any other nationality. Causa against Zulu. Zulu against Pedi. Um, whatever, it will just, we've got 11 different cultures, so they, they won't stop fighting. This is not to do with color. This has got to do with greed, and it's got to do with communism that they want to bring into this country, which they've done quite a lot, a good job already. We're part of BRICS, Brazil, China, Russia, India, and South Africa. What is a Christian country doing with all those ungodly countries? What are we agreeing with? We've got China coming in here, and I'm not going to even complete my story. Have a look around you. But now I want to address the South African men. I am very disappointed in you men. And I just want to say to you, I'm going to speak as it is. You don't see white men going to break into the black man's house and steal their stuff. You don't see a white woman breaking into black man's house or a black woman's house and stealing their stuff. Why well, have got a culture problem in South Africa that the blacks are known for stealing? What is the problem? 
And I don't care if you don't like what I'm saying. It's a fact. It's on the table. If you look at the police stations, somebody was saying, yeah, they're full of black people. Why are they full of black people? It's because they are the ones that are doing crime. So it's time to find out what is the problem. I believe we are a fatherless society. And I'm asking the men of South Africa, will you adopt a young boy somewhere? And if a woman adopt a young girl, it doesn't matter the color. You can be Indian, you can be colored, you can be black, you can be white. I am not for racism. I have got many friends that are different colors. I do not see through my eyes. I th see through the eyes of Jesus because he said we are made in his image. But I'm addressing the subject as it is. What I want to say is our leaders in parliament are behaving like bullies, fighting against each other. What are we teaching our youngsters? And then we are allowing the borders to be open, to allow any country to come in. And our drugs is flourishing. And that is why people are doing crime, because they want to make quick money. They don't want to work for it. I want to ask you, will you join me? I'm looking for watchmen. It's that um, Isaiah 21, I think it's 21, verse 11, where it says, uh, O watchman of the night, O watchman of the night. If you'd like to be a watchman in your area, we're going to pray and we're going to be, uh, we're going to do it in action as well. And we're going to bring hope by, by doing those two, prayer and action, we're going to bring hope back into our country. Please contact me. I want you to be the voice for South Africa with me. And together we're going to change this nation. I had a wake-up call when I called the name of Jesus. Didn't realize how powerful I have seen his power work. But just after screaming that out, it was so amazing because I heard them running away. Let me tell you something. If you are not securing your family, South Africa is no more the same. They want to change this country and they will rule and ruin this country to be able to make it a communist country. They first break down a nation and then they build it up in communism. And how do they do it? They make it Africa socialism or democratic socialism. That is communism at its best. I want you to join me. There's a lot of other groups out there. Let's all join forces together. Strategies to keep each other awake. Another thing that happened is I couldn't phone out on my phone. I had airtime, yes I did. And I was trying to get hold of as many people as possible. I even used WhatsApp to try and phone out. They had a mechanism that blocked my phone from being able to phone. Even the neighbor on the same ground, she's got a house and I had was staying in her flat at the back. I couldn't even warn her because I couldn't get through to her. My phone kept on cutting. It would ring and then just cut off. Ring and then cut off. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. No matter who you are, it's time to wake up. It's time to take a stand and let's do something. Let's strategize. Let's do what God wants us to do. There's nothing wrong in protecting yourself. We don't want to have a war. So let's stand up and let us be bold. Let us speak out. And if you think I hate you, I don't. As I said, I've got different I've got friends that are different colors. I don't see color. We're made in God's image and my eyes are not colorblind. I know exactly what is happening. We need to raise up a new nation. Contact me. If you go onto my Facebook, Esther Barden Norst, number one. And if you want to contact me on YouTube, just subscribe. You'll get all my audio, all my videos. Esther Barden Norst, Hope. And then if you want to send me an email, you're welcome to send me your story. I'd love to hear from you, but I'm calling the women of South Africa. I'm very disappointed in the men of South Africa. And that's why I'm calling you, like a Deborah with Barack. You need to adopt another person that is young and train them in the love of Jesus. Nothing else. Train them in the love of Jesus. Because if we have biblical principles and values, we will change this nation. Let's do it. There's much more we can talk about, but I don't want to make this video too long. I just know I got my wake-up call, and now I'm going to speak. I asked the phar farmers to please invite me to come and speak. I praat in Afrikaans now. I'm just going to speak in Afrikaans. I group all die boere asjeblief. Waar ook al jy is. Dis nie tyd vir hart nie. Ons moet net voorbereid wees. 
vir wat God vir ons sê ons moet doen. Ek weet wat was die kracht van die naam van Jesus. Maar ons kan nie net die naam van Jesus gebruik as ons nie verhouding met hom het nie. Dit is die belangrijkste. And I just want to say to everybody out there, exactly what I said to the farmers, it's time for us to stand together. We can't strategize. We can't protect. Your cell phone's not going to work because mine didn't. Even my car, the alarm didn't go off. So these syndicates are very well planned and they know exactly what they want to do with South Africa. It comes from the top. Our leaders are not in the Lord. So we're in trouble. If we had leave, have leaders in government that are godly, there's only a handful. We need more. Back me so we can go into parliament. Don't have fear for politics. Just back me and let's take whatever we need to do to bring hope to South Africa. Let's do it. Contact me on 082-93-11-418. Thank you for listening to my message. Please send it on. We need to broadcast to the rest of the world that whatever's happening in South Africa is genocide. I was protected from genocide. They could have come in and they could have killed me because that's how much hate is being portrayed by leaders in government. And you know who you are. That's Haman. And Esther won't be silent. Haman will be defeated. Hate will be defeated. And if you think you're exempt from hate and you've got a black skin, sorry for you. They will come for you. First they come for the white people and then they come for you. Look at the rest of Africa. Get your story and understand it. Look at history and understand Africa. Poverty will just come in. And if somebody doesn't kill you, you'll starve. I love you. I hope this message comes to your ears. I'm looking for watchmen because God is calling for watchmen in your area. Contact me and say, Esther, I want to be a watchman in my area. We're going to do it in prayer and action to bring back hope. I love you. I love you. I love you. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't. And if they got it right to kill me, I wouldn't be here speaking to you right now. Don't wait until it's too late. Let's do something together. Blessings. Leave a legacy for your family. Bye-bye. God bless. Till we meet again, pass this message on. Bye.